the spinal cord connects our brain to the body. And it's like a cable, a bundle of cable, with millions of little cables inside that are sending the commands down from the brain to our body, for, for example, for the movement of our limbs or to control the function of our organs. And this is interrupted when there happens a breaking of, breaking of the spinal column, usually by a bone fragment that bruises the cord, it's like a meltdown of a big cable, and the, this connection is gone. The approach that we're taking is to try and coax the axons, these wires that connect our body to our brain, to grow back. And to do that, we need to do two things. We need to get rid of the scarring that forms around the injury site. And number two, we need to uh, guide them across. And so our approach is to, with a simple needle injection, add little rods and guide, guidance structures that are magnetically aligned that the axons can then follow from one side to the other, kind of like um, breadcrumbs or, or made somewhere between breadcrumbs and railway tracks to help them guide them across and hopefully create a, a, a connection so that some function can be restored. We are engineering biomaterials to provide a supporting matrix for the tissue to regenerate and for it to also be guided across the lesion of the spinal cord. My team will be developing in vitro models of the injured spinal cord. That means we'll be developing three-dimensional cell culture models that we can use in the laboratory to test different combinations of biomaterials. My expertise in the surgical management of acute spinal cord injury will be leveraged by providing that really important clinical perspective to the therapies that we develop within the Mend the Gap project. Furthermore, my expertise as a neuroscientist will be leveraged by employing the large animal model of spinal cord injury that we've developed, which better resembles the human spinal cord, to test the most promising treatments that emerge prior to evaluating them in human spinal cord injury. In addition to restoring independence and improving quality of life, uh, restoring even some hand function, ability to breathe on your own, uh, ability to perform other bo bodily functions on your own can also really reduce the amount of care that a person requires. And with that, that also greatly reduces the cost to the healthcare system. So it may mean savings even billions of dollars a year to, in Canada alone.